guys, Harcha Dani here. I'm here with Lani from Kismet Yoga and Fitness in Abbey. Um, it's soon becoming my uh, favorite yoga studio. She is so amazing. She's just put me through a quick warm up. So I know what's coming, but we are going to be doing, just let them know what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do a little bit of a yoga core strengthening flow here this morning. Not too long, but maybe enough to promote your workout, get you strong and started on your day. Let's work on that core, guys. Let's go. So coming into your downward dog, your hips are nice and high, your body is shaped like an upside down V. Really create space and open here in the shoulders, but pushing them out of way. If you have really tight hamstrings, just bring a bend into the knees, make it a little easier for yourself. Inhale as you glide forward, your shoulders are directly above your wrists. Keeping the core engaged, draw your knees up towards your belly button. And then bend the elbows as you lower with your chatter on the elbows, pinch your sides, don't let your body touch the mat, come to the tops of your feet, and then press up and open into your up dog. Exhale, press it all the way back into your downward dog, pushing them out of the way. Hips come high. Inhale, coming back into your plank. Shoulders are above the wrist. Core stays engaged and strong. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, tops of the feet. Gaze is up in the sky. And exhale as you press back into your downward dog. One more, inhale, gliding forward, shoulders come forward, core is engaged, we're playing. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower your chest down towards the mat. Inhale, tops of your feet, up dog. And exhale, press it back into your downward dog. Beautiful. Coming into some core strengthening exercises here. Now inhale, as you lift the right leg into the air, you your three legged dog. Making sure here that your hips stay square. Keep pushing them out of the way with your hands, shoulders reaching down towards the mat. Exhale, drawing your right knee into your chest, shoulders come forward. Suck the belly in, hollow out the body, and activate your shoulder girdle. Exhale, press it back into your three legged dog. And now bring it through. Bend the knee, shoulders come forward. Bring the same knee to the same elbow. So now you're reaching over here. Or as engage the belly in and extend it back. Three legged dog. Now right knee comes in to meet your left elbow. Draw the knee in, twisting the hips a little bit. Core is engaged. Try to get that knee up off the ground as high as you can and extend it back into your three legged dog. Exhale, lower the right foot down, downward dog. And you can repeat that three times. So now that we've done that on the right side, we're going to continue and do three on the left knee. So inhale, lifting the left leg up. Keeping the hips square here, keep pushing them out of the way with your hands, opening the shoulders. And exhale as you draw that left knee bent into your chest. Remember to hollow the body out, really get that thigh up close to the belly button, and then extend it back. Push back, breathe in. Exhale, left knee comes into your left elbow. Inhale, extend it back, really draw. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. So twist the hips, keeping the core strong, your shoulders above the wrists, and extend it back, three leg it dog. Exhale, lowering our left foot down, downward dog. Inhale, lifting the right leg up, three leg it dog. Psych belly, keep the core strong. And then bend the right knee and place the right foot into your hands. Now, if you need some assistance here, you can use your right hand to glide the right foot up a little bit more. Beautiful job. Rotate the back heel down so your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. And bring your right hand to the inside of the right leg. Making sure here that the right hip stays open, right knee is open. Reach your left hand up to the sky and then straighten that front leg coming into your triangle pose. Beautiful job. Wanting to make sure your body stays open and facing the left. Left hand is up, shoulders are open, and your core is engaged. Now if you want to challenge yourself here, instead of folding, you can activate the core muscles by reaching that left hand down towards the right. And then inhale, bringing your left hand back up. So two more here. Exhale, reach the left hand down towards the right. And inhale, open. One more, exhale, left hand down to meet the right. And inhale, open. People, you can stay holding here for an extra challenge, or bend back into the right knee, flat to the right hand, back to the mat, hands frame that front foot, lift the back heel, 
and extend the right leg back into your heel dog. Release, lower the right foot down to the mat. And again now, we'll switch to the left side. So inhale as you lift the left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, draw the knee in towards your chest. Try to get that foot placed in between your hand and assist the foot if you need to with your hand. Rotate the back heel down, your back heel curl the back of your mat. Your left hand comes to the inside of the left leg. Same thing you do on the opposite side. Inhale, right hand comes up, keeping this knee open here, the glute is engaged, and then straighten up that front leg, holding here. Try to open up the hips, shoulders, core stay strong. And exhale, right hand comes down to the left. And inhale, open. Exhale, hand comes down to the left. Inhale, open. Last one, exhale, hand comes down. Inhale, open. Now, I just want to mention here, the more weight you apply here, the less you're going to be working your core. So if you want to try and challenge yourself and have the hand cover to the inside of the leg, that's an option as well. Holding in one last breath. And release, bend the knee, plant the hands to either side of that front foot, lifting the back heel and extend the left leg back into your three-legged dog. Release, lower your left foot down, down and up. So, inhale, coming into your plank, shoulders by forward, force engaged, like the belly in. Now draw your right knee towards your right elbow. Similar as what we did before, but instead of transitioning through downward dog to this position, we're just gonna glide your right knee over to your left elbow, and then back to the right. Two more, over to the left, three, back to the right. One last inhale. Exhale, flip it back, and release. Press it back into your downward dog. And now coming into your plank, you're gonna do your left side. Shoulders come forward, hips are nice and low. You don't want your hips to be above the shoulders. And now draw the left knee to your left elbow. Suck the belly in, hollow the body. And over to the right. Exhale, inhale back. Exhale, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Inhale back. One more, exhale. Inhale back, really try to make that knee meet the tricep with an elbow if you can, and extend it back down with dog. To challenge yourself, you can stay in a plank instead of going back into your downward dog. Downward dog is a resting position, but if downward dog is too much for you on your shoulders, you can always keep the child's pose, lower the knees down, and press it back. So tucking the toes back again into your downward dog. Gliding your shoulders forward into your plank. Here, we're just gonna make a small movement here with the feet. You're gonna come high on the toes, shoulders come forward, and then press the heels back. Beautiful, two more. Keeping the hips nice and low, and back. Force stay strong, so the belly and forward, and back. One more here, forward, and back, and now press back to downward dog. If you want, you can repeat both sides again, and then doing a total of three. All right, guys, I'm dead. That was really, really challenging. Um, as you know, I'm just getting back into it. So this was one of my first real yoga classes. I'm by no means an expert, so I came to an expert to help me so that I don't injure myself. And whether it's in the weight room or you're getting into yoga or anything new, always seek out a professional because you really can't hurt yourself. It's true. Right? Yeah. So um, how can people get in touch with you? Because you're you amazing. Get, if you want to get in touch with me, Following me on Instagram at the Wandering Lotus, or you can even come into the studio. The studio is Kismet Yoga and Fitness. We are here in Abbotsford, BC, so come on, join us and say hi. And I know I'll be here on the weekends um, oh, to sure. help <laughs> get back. I want to get into my handstands, or yes. I want to build my core strength up again because it's yes. something I've really lost. So. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you like the video, if you want to see more of us going through um, strengthening my core. Hit like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep bringing you guys awesome content. Thank you. <laughs>